Right, obviously, uh, you know, thrilled with the first half. Um, obviously, not as pleased with the, uh, you know, with uh, you know, with the majority of the second half there. Um, you know, huge credit to, uh, you know, to St. Peter's. Obviously, with you know, with Shaheen, um, you know, there, and, and uh, you know, now that he's, you know, the last couple of games, he's back on the sideline. They're, uh, they're really, um, you know, they're, they're a tough team to play against because they are gritty. Um, and they are athletic, and they are tough, and they are relentless. And um, I just thought they were tougher than us. Uh, you know, he had his team. You know, he, he coached his team and had his team. You know, tougher than us in the second half, and we kind of knew it was coming. Um, you know, because they, uh, you know, St. John's game, they got down. You know, mid twenties, low twenties, and cut it to four um, under a minute. And actually, had a chance to steal it. So, you know, we knew that they would. Uh, you know, continue to play, you know, because, uh, you know, because Shaheen, you know, does an excellent job and is in year two of, of building, a, you know, an excellent program there uh, at St. Peter's. So, you know, credit, uh, you know, credit Shaheen, credit their kids. You know, they really defended and scrapped relentlessly. And, uh, you know, and we, we obviously um, have a lot to do with, with uh, you know, a lot, to, a lot of work to do with our ball security right now. It's. Uh, you know, last two games have uh, been a really poor reflection, um, you know, on, uh, you know, on my ability to, um, you know, get my team to be strong with the ball and make good decisions. Yeah, is there a common thread with the turnovers? You talked a little bit yesterday about you know, over penetration, dribbling, and the right spots and whatnot. I mean, there were just all sorts. You know all all sorts. I mean, generally, I just you know we have to be um, you know we, we've got to be a, we've got to become a, just a better screening team. I, I just think that we, we we've got um, you know, I've got to make adjustments um, with with the way we're playing offense. Um, you know, we, we've got to kind of I got to kind of put some. You know, just do a better job of of, of limiting, um, you know, limiting guys dribbling, just driving it into bad gaps. You know, just continue to, uh, you know, to kind of study, where, you know, study and learn. Like the up until two games ago, up until the Indiana game, one of our strengths that saved us was the fact that we never were that we were pretty good at not turning the ball over. And we couldn't make any. <coughs> you know, we couldn't make a shot. Couldn't make two. Struggling from three. Our shooting percentages were, were really low. And now the last you know last two games in particular today, we, we shot it better. But we're we're just um, just doing bizarre things with the ball, which um, you know obviously um, there's, there's, there's things we can do in practice. And then you know obviously I'm going to have to just tighten up. You know, tighten up the leash, and you know, guys are if you're irresponsible with the ball, you, you got to come out. Danny, uh, uh, talk a little about uh, Jalen Gaffney. I know he had four of those turnovers, but he also had some best numbers. So, was, you know, yeah. just talk about this night, this progression. Yeah, he. Uh, you know, listen, Jalen is going to be a tremendous player. Um, had, had, had a really even into the Indiana game, he had a really, really good couple days of practice. Um, obviously, didn't get much of an opportunity versus uh, versus Indiana, but then he, he he stayed determined and practiced really really well leading into this one. Um, and he just he was aggressive. He was you know, he, he was assertive. Um, when, when, you know when his physical maturity catches up, um, you know catches up with his skill and his game. You know he, he's going to be really really good. And um, you know, I think this was uh, that, that's an underrated, tough team for a freshman guard to play against because they get after you, and they are as gritty and as tough, um, and they attack the ball. So that, that was really good to see. Um, you know, for his confidence, and obviously, uh, you know, he's a, hopefully he can build. You know, we, we want him playing in that 15 to 18 minute range. Um, it's critical that we get that from him. Uh, how much is your defense kind of keeping you afloat right now? You had that stretch and that helped you pull away. Yeah, I know. We, we uh, I mean, even you know, they shot 39 from the field. I would say, you know, probably five or six of their second half baskets, a couple of those threes, a couple of those put back, uh, layups, they were on broken plays where we got a deflection. Um, with, you know, with the, the ball was loose. 
they, they, you know, Al gets smacked in the face because he's pressuring the ball, almost steals it, they throw it to the corner, they hit a three. You know, so de defensively, we were really good, um, you know, for the most part. Um, and and we, we have to be a, a top 30, top 35 team to have a surprisingly good season because offensively, you know, we got a ways to go uh, down at that, down at that end of the court. So um, the best way that you can get competitive and improve, and obviously we've made a lot of progress as a program, but um, yeah, the, the defense is going to have to be our calling card. Dan, Al had come into the game with a pretty good ratio of assist to turnovers. I think it was two and a half to one. Was he just out of sorts tonight, or was it just kind of their, uh, you know, their doggedness that, that affected him? I, I think they, they, they sped him up early. You know, he got sped up early just w w with the pressure and then seeing some zone. So he went from, you know, being sped up, which, you know, when Al gets going too fast, um, you know, his, his decision making, you know, uh, deteriorates. And then, and then also, too, now you're, then they're also dropping the playing zone. So you go from getting sped up to then having to think. So it was a, it, it was a, it was a tough, you know, I didn't love the matchup. I was kind of sick yesterday because I knew that we weren't going to have, usually when we play, we have the advantage because we get after people. We play so much harder than our opponent that that was uh, nullified by how hard they play. But yeah, um, you know, Al, uh, Al's such a key offensively for us, creating shots for Tyler, you know, finding Cook, finding a Cook in off cuts or on dribble penetration or in transition. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, and Al's been great with his assist to turnover. So, you know, today I think it was just an off night, but I thought he made up for it with, with his defensive pressure and the five steals. Uh, sort of second unit in regards there with uh, Gaffney, Brooklyn, and Adams. Are you seeing some uh, chemistry develop there? At the end it took me a while to find you, and I wasn't listening to your question while Sorry. I was looking for you. Yeah. That's a new voice. Sorry. Uh, yeah, what, what, who were you asking about? Uh, sort of second unit with the guards, uh, Gaffney, Brooklyn, and Adams. Are you yeah. seeing some chemistry develop there with the young guys? Well, I'm just happy to see those guys play better. Um, you know, we, we need those guys. Um, you know, Buck. But you know, Buck was really had a really good first half. Uh, I thought he let his guard down in, in the second half, though. I, 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 um, you know, it's just it's part of his maturation process. Um, you know, and, and, and um, you know, when we uh, will continue to, to to get him to play better. But he just he looked more aggressive in the first half, and you know, it's just with, with Buck, it's just. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a focus. It's just uh, you know being locked in and playing every possession and just being sharp with the ball. He just he's got to mature as a freshman. Um, you know, I thought Brendan was, you know was good defensively, but he was part of the turnover um, you know the tur turnover brigade there. Um, but yeah, we need our bench. You know, we we don't we're not we don't have anyone that's going to drop 25 and save us. You know, we we got to beat people with depth. We got to beat people with. You know, by getting quality play from our entire rotation, you know, we have to be consistently, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, win with balance. And, and I, I thought that in the first half, it, it, you know, it was a good feeling as a coach in the first half because um, a number of guys it led us to turnovers. Like we, we guys were really guarding, and we were and we were shooting a very high percentage from the field. In the first half, it was like a hard decision about who to give more minutes to. You know, which is always a good. Am I playing this guy enough? I want to get that him back in there because he was real good, and that's a good feeling as a coach, as opposed to, you know, what do I, you know, who the hell do I put in because it's going bad. <laughs> Does a cook seem more comfortable in offense? I mean, it seems like tonight he's in a dunk. He's a little more assertive inside. Yeah, I mean, it, like, you know, listen, what what a cook does on the court, um, you know, the offensive end, he's just, you know. Uh, that's going to be the thing that that uh, that arrives last for him, but I'm not sure if you could. Yeah, you know, we obviously we miss him. You know, we missed him on a couple lobs today. Missed him on the baseline a little bit. Missed him in transition a little bit. You know, he should be a double figure scorer if we just kind of were able to kind of see him in transition or see him in lob opportunities. Um, 
but there were also still the guards still get used to playing with him. But you know the impact that he's had on the program and it has on the game. Um, you know he's been a, you know, he's been really 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 great, and I don't even have to worry about you know him because I don't even think he's on social media that much. Although I saw him, I noticed him active on Twitter the other day, which was. You know, it's, that's not his M.O. <laughs> Maybe he was bored, you know, because the fans are over. Um, but like that guy, I don't even worry about him getting a big, you know, getting a big head or an ego or getting ahead of himself, because that, that guy right there is a sponge. And, and, and he lives and dies on every little bit of coaching that he's getting from his coaches. And, and he's just, um, he's a pleasure to coach. Obviously, this dude's got big things ahead of him. In fact, I don't know if you can hear me, but any time that we're about to give up a layup or transition defense doesn't look good, I just yell, hey, I just yell a Cook's name, and then he blocks it. So, <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable.